Is uh, Cody Taylor up and out of it? Where's he at? Still haven't seen my passenger this morning. Getting a little bit nervous. Welcome to Johnson Valley. Today is the big day. Everybody's watching at home. Are you guys having a good time? And this there's week? Cody Miller, and with him, another can in that is Hunter Miller. They just came off the UTV race earlier this week. These things move through the desert as well. They do. They can pick up a lot of time. I think the difference here is so can every single one of these 4400 cars. As you said before, three times the motor. This is going to be one heck of a drag race. Hey, we're getting somewhere because this came loose now. Yeah, we're about 18 hours out from the race. I am beat up from yesterday. Fixing mine, Chad's little rollover damage, just cosmetic. To me, the 4400 race means a great deal. There's definitely a lot of pressure involved with this race. It's what our entire program is built around. I, I'm not gonna touch the plastics, graphics, nothing like that. We're gonna leave it just like it is. And then we're gonna show up the line looking like this. It's gonna be awesome. The car prep is extremely important. We have to start nitpicking on those cars down to the final detail. We're gonna redo the whole drive lines, just go through everything, replace anything that's damaged and uh, get them ready for tomorrow. I, th I think we absolutely have a chance to do well. You know, we are we are competitive, and at the end of the day, it's racing, and anything can happen. So we, we're running three pits. We take four spare tires, spare axles, spare diff, spare brakes. I think the pit strategy is the hardest thing about this race. Because when racing starts, everything kind of changes, and we're, we're just tweak a little bit, and we'll be good. That used to be up here on the top of this. Yeah. So you'll just put your tire here and here and drive right over this. One last little walk up Old King's Veto. Things have changed a lot since the first day when we come down it, so it's arguably the hardest rock challenge out here. Yeah, this is a great line. That's a pretty big hole now, too. Let's go up and look at the top. It's definitely hairy, and it's changed a lot. There's been a lot of trucks through here, so we'll see. It's still going to be tough. Hunter, Kyle Chaney, and myself, if we come together, you know, we have a good chance. As long as this kind of stays up, but this is liable to crack off right here. The easiest way that I, when I explain it to people would be like racing a UTV against a trophy truck or a Pro 4. I mean, we're not expected to win. There's no trails in the UTV race with rocks this big, that's for sure. Pretty revolutionary for the off-road scene in general. If I would have seen this rock trail maybe two, three years ago, for sure I, was, I would not be thinking that it would have been possible to do this, but I don't know. Let's go back to the trailer and put our cars together so we're not up till midnight. Just a little thickness. It's been kind of rough here in the last couple days. Unfortunately, my co-pilot Cody Taylor has got the stomach bug. Feeling probably 70% better. Got about a one meal of food in today over the last four days. I don't know how the hard hits are gonna affect me tomorrow, so not looking forward to that. Without your co-driver doing his job properly, you're never gonna finish. That's all we can do. Get the car ready and wake up in the morning and get on the starting line. Yeah, we're down to the last hours. We want to make sure we get everything, every box checked, make sure they're ready to go for tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> I am pumped though. Ready to get this show started for sure. To be honest with you, I'm nervous thinking about it right now. I really enjoy that nervousness, you know, that adrenaline that you get from this. I feel real good about it. My car's coming together great. I'll be ready to go soon, it's about dinner time, so I'm actually gonna get some sleep tonight. I don't want to get to a place where I'm not nervous about the race. Well, she'll go 65. Yeah, it feels great. I wanted to get her up to 100, but too many people out there. Uh, definitely ready for this. Definitely the nerves are setting in. Everybody's been working so freaking hard. Everybody's tired and today is gonna to be a long, long, hard day for everybody, so. You know, I personally feel like it's just, why wouldn't you wanna do this? All right, everybody, welcome to Johnson Valley. Whenever I wake up, I, I replace my feeling of anxiousness with feelings of confidence and a plan. Is uh, Cody Taylor up and at him? Where's he at? I can't believe it, I've been waiting for this. I'm a huge fan. Uh, to fight the anxiety, I don't really want to fight it. I enjoy it. 7.45. It's 7.45. Still haven't seen my passenger this morning. 
getting a little bit nervous. And there's Cody Miller, and with him, another can in that is Hunter Miller. Whenever it comes down to race day, I just have so to trust that my team has their part Hunter, covered. As you said before, three times the motor. I got fire suits in my gear bag. Whoever wants to ride with me, Mom, he'll be here. Motors in the 4400 series cars, king of the hammers. We have the who's who of off-road racing leaving the line. Hunter, you copy? Cody just got in the car. We are getting ready to go. We are two minutes away from start time. During staging in the 4400 race is about the only time I'm really nervous anymore. It's all eyes on you. In this class has a chance to be our new king of the hammers. My focus is so direct. I know that I have to be perfect or I'm done. have everything to gain and nothing to lose out of this race. I mean, nobody expects us to go out there and win. I'm not thinking about the win. I'm not thinking about anything. I am 100% focused on not making a mistake. He just came off the UTV race earlier this week, strapped up the k and he's going out, he's racing with the big boys in 4400. The 4400 class vehicles are definitely intimidating. You see one in your mirror and you just want to get out of the way because that thing is coming through fast. When I'm in a race car, it's almost like I'm in a different place completely. I don't have any thoughts other than what's directly in front of me. Okay, go. Move on. Go, 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 go. All right, you're good, you're good. And right now, this is one of our KM UTVs. I love that it has the surfboard on top. Those will come off, get out into those big rocks. We expected them to be quite a bit faster in the rocks than us, but, um, but we're so much more nimble and lightweight than those things that uh, we're far more competitive than we thought we would be. just drove really smooth as fast as we could without breaking the car and uh, top 10 isn't what I came here for but it's a start. It's the best the UTV's done in the 4400 class yet. Show these guys we do have a place here. It's a big deal. It's just uh, building momentum. We're definitely going to give it another shot. Uh, I absolutely think we will keep racing 4400 until we win. Cody Miller in your Can-Am, congratulations on your eighth place finish. To the people that say, say in your own class and you have your own race, I say, why? We'll be back and we'll try and just keep on stair-stepping up in this class. Give it up for Cody Miller. It's an unlimited class and that's where we want to be. So we have just as much right to be out there as anyone else. I have no doubt that we can win this thing. It's just kind of bringing a knife to a gunfight, but it's a sharp knife, so we can do it.